1429, April 16, 2023, McCad TV, Alabama shooting, four dead at teen birthday party. At least four people have been killed in a mass shooting in the U.S. state of Alabama on Saturday. Several people were injured following the incident at a 16th birthday party in the city of Dadeville, local media is reporting. The shooting happened at around 22.30, 3.30 Greenwich Mean Time, on Saturday. This morning, I grieve with the people of Dadeville and my fellow Alabamians, State Governor Kay Ivey said. President Biden is pushing to change gun laws in America United States. He is trying to change the course of history which is very honorable of him. Due to the controversial nature of the Second Amendment which protects the right to keep and bear arms. This is a self-defense right when you are in the comfort of your own home. The controversies surrounding this law also have restrictions that prohibits individuals with index offenses and mental health issues to possess a firearm. Biden is trying to make sure that proper measures are put in place for stricter database checks so firearms won't fall in wrong arms. Joe Biden is facing challenges to alter this laws and to push it into reality. AR-15, the lethal weapon at heart of U.S. gun debate. When it comes to America's vast gun culture, no weapon has become as ubiquitous or controversial as the AR-15, a gun that is both lauded as America's rifle and vilified as the weapon of choice for mass shooters. The gun, early versions of which became available in the 1950s, is one of the most popular among American gun owners, with tens of millions currently in circulation. By some estimates, 1 in 20 Americans owns one. The popularity of the gun even prompted some conservative lawmakers to try to officially designate the AR-15 the national gun of the United States. The semi-automatic AR-15, however, has also become a familiar sight at the scene of mass shootings, including recent deadly incidents in Louisville, Nashville and Uvalde, Texas. Statistics show that AR-15-style weapons have been used in many of the deadliest mass shootings in the U.S. But what exactly is an AR-15, and why are they so common? The History of AR-15s The AR-15 was first developed as a semi-automatic rifle for civilians in the 1950s by Armalite, a U.S. firm after which the AR is named. In 1959, the design of the weapon was sold to another company, Colt, which soon adapted it into a military, fully automatic version known as the M16. The weapon first entered frontline service with the U.S. Army in the mid-1960s, in the early stages of the Vietnam War. While the rifle was initially unpopular among U.S. troops because of frequent jamming issues, production was expanded and in 1969, a modified version, the M16A1, became the standard service weapon across the U.S. military. After the Vietnam War ended, Colt began marketing semi-automatic versions of the rifle to U.S. gun enthusiasts and police forces alike, although many gun owners remained wary of the weapon. Colt's patent for the AR-15 expired in 1977. After that, other firearms manufacturers such as Remington, Smith & Wesson and Ruger began producing their own versions. Colt still holds the trademark to the term AR-15 and other manufacturers' versions go by different names, but these rifles are still popularly referred to as AR-15s. While the manufacture, sale and possession of some of these guns was restricted under a U.S. federal ban on semi-automatic assault weapons that was in place between 1994 and 2004, the ban didn't apply to weapons made before 1994. How many Americans own AR-15s? While the exact number of AR-15s in American hands is difficult to determine, data shows that tens of millions are in circulation across the country. A late 2022 poll from the Washington Post and Ipsos, for example, found that of U.S. gun owners who constitute 31% of adults about 20% own AR-15s. These figures, the Washington Post has reported, suggest that as many as 1 in 20, about 6% of Americans owns an AR-15. Separate statistics, compiled by researchers from Georgetown University in 2021, found that 24.6 million Americans own AR-15-style rifles. The data suggested that since many gun owners have multiple weapons, the total number of AR-15s in American hands could be as high as 44 million. A million configurations. Gun enthusiasts point to a number of reasons for the AR-15's popularity in the U.S., including its relatively light weight about 6.5 pounds, 3 kilograms, as well as its ease of use and the ability to customize it with various accessories and additions. There are literally over a million configurations, and parts and colors, Christ Waltz, the president and CEO of the AR-15 Owners of America told the BBC. 
People talk about it being a Barbie doll for men. You could have different outfits for Barbie, and it's the same with an AR-15 rifle. It's also just very easy to shoot. It's lightweight and it's very accurate, Mr. Waltz added. It's simple to use for women and kids when they're involved in shooting sports. It's America's modern sporting rifle. That's what we call it. Like many enthusiasts, Mr. Waltz, who was first exposed to the M16 as a young Marine in the 1980s, refers to AR-15s as sporting rifles as opposed to assault weapons, the term often used by gun control advocates. 1450, April 16, 2023, MCAD TV, How the AR-15 Became America's National Gun. Scholars who study the proliferation of AR-15s point to several other factors, including pent-up demand dating back to the assault weapons ban and a vast increase in marketing over the last 20 years. It became very, very lucrative. AR-15s were cash cows for gun sellers, said Jonathan Metzel, a professor of sociology at Vanderbilt University who researches gun violence. AR-15 ownership became kind of an identity. There's a lot of examples of people who pushed back on this from within gun culture who got pushed out, including politicians or media commentators. Additionally, Professor Metzel said that pointed to a marked change over time in why Americans own firearms. In the 1970s, 1980s and early 90s, people thought that guns were for hunting or for tradition, he said. But when increasing numbers of people thought that they owned firearms for protection against criminals or for property protection, all of a sudden they wanted the most lethal hardware they could get their hands on. AR-15s in mass shootings Detractors of the AR-15 often point to the use of the rifle and similar variants during mass shootings across the U.S. One set of statistics, from the Associated Press, USA Today and the Northeastern University Mass Killing Database, found that AR-15s have been used in 10 of the 17 deadliest mass killings in the U.S. that have taken place since 2012. These in There's been a mass shooting in Dadeville, Alabama. Brian Yenis is live with what we know. Brian, good morning. Good morning, guys. Uh, we've been making calls on this for hours now. This is what we know. We can confirm that there has been a mass shooting in Dadeville, Alabama. This is eastern Alabama in Tallapoosa County. Reportedly, according to WRBL in C uh, the CBS affiliate there, this shooting took place at about 1030 last night. They're talking about, uh, according to them, WRBL is, is reporting uh, so, some 20 people who were injured at this shooting. Now, we understand this shooting took place based on live stream videos that we've seen from local news organizations on the ground, that this shooting took place at the Mahogany Masterpiece, a dance studio right next to the PNC Bank in downtown Dadeville. There's a population of about 3,000. This is a very small community, some 60 miles northeast of Montgomery, some 25 miles uh, northwest of Auburn, Alabama. Again, a mass shooting, we believe, uh, it is being reported by WRBL, the local CBS affiliate, um, left more than 20 people injured. The injured are believed to be mostly teenagers. They are reporting that this was a Sweet 16 birthday celebration. There is yellow police tape and investigators are on scene outside of the Mahogany Masterpiece Dance Studio. Video that we've seen from local affiliates shows that the windows have been blown out in the front of that building, it appears, of that dance studio. Uh,